All right, guys, this is Dan French. We're out here at TriPoint. This is King's Canyon. We're gonna look at plan one today. And uh, you guys know me from LV Crib Tours, also the French Workbench Podcast, and the channel I just launched, which is the Sound Off. We're gonna look at plan one. This is a model. First one that we're gonna look at here, 2379 square feet, bedrooms three to four bath. I'm sorry, bedrooms three to four, baths two and a half to three and a half bath. Uh, garage bay is three. Different elevations, A, B, C, and D. And we're gonna have uh, 831,500 to be A, 849,500 B, C is 831,500, and D is 849,500. Let's go take a look at this house. This is a three car garage. Pavers, from my understanding, come with the house in the front. Let's go ahead and walk in. This is an eight foot door. <laughs> also, here we go. Um, we have a nice courtyard, pavers, all this information that you can see online, but this is just gives you a different view of it. But look at these big windows. Look at this big courtyard. Look at how beautiful. Now for me though, you know, I don't know, man, this gets pretty hot. I always want a patio cover. Let's walk in another eight foot door and Kings Canyon, right? Plan one, different vinyl wood flooring here, different scheme to the, uh, the door with the windows. And uh, they have a frost look to that, that door. It's pretty nice though. Coming right over here, just you have your standard closet. This is an office. If you wanna put in another uh, closet, you could probably make it into a room and close this off. But this leads right to rooms right here. So you're gonna go right here, bypass this. Here's our first bedroom. Looking at 10 by 12, pretty standard. These are smaller. We saw eight foot, this is about six feet right here on the closet size in this one. This is plan one, but it is a little cheaper. Different idea, different, uh, you have the black hardware. They have black on black here. And then you have your white quartz countertop, different style to the tile. You have your Brooklyn style brick shower enclosure with the dark uh, hardware shower head. And then heading over here, this is a Jack and Jill style because these two rooms are gonna share that bathroom but you see it's about the same size bedroom, 10 by 12. All right, let's head out back. I like that window. For me, I might even put a sliding glass door in there. That's a nice uh, office area. Let's head across here before we actually get into the living room. So here is where you're gonna have all your smart hookup, another linens closet. And over here, you have another guest bathroom. And here they've put in this wall decor, it's actually tile that they put here, really nice tile. And then this Kohler, uh, you have your Kohler sink with your dark faucet head and handles. And I like the style of this handle, like the way that they have this, that's different, right? And I think that's definitely, I would probably get that style. I like that a lot. Uh, cabinets, dark on dark again, <clears throat> quartz, countertop, GE appliances, pretty neat setup, no sink. But this is the, uh, the less version. I don't know if they can let us out here, I'm sorry, but I wanna go out here. Nope. No, nope, they're not gonna let us out. We're stuck. All right, so we're here, we're about nine feet. Now when you get into here, in the living area, it looks like it's been elevated to about 12 feet. Yeah, this has been elevated to 12 feet in here. So you see, oh, I'm about to trip. So you can see how they've made that. And then when you go back into the kitchen area, it went from 12 now to nine feet. What you have to understand is that those are upgrades. So if you want to get that elevation for that 12 feet, it's an upgrade. Back to the quartz countertop, we have Bosch appliances now. So now we know we have three different appliances. They have the stacking cabinets. That's going to be an upgrade. I've seen 20, $30,000 sometimes in upgrade costs. Each one of these houses have different things that are unique that offer more than the other house, which is really neat. Uh, this would be where your dishwasher would be, but it's not there. You have your undermounted sink by Amerisink. You have your black goose gooseneck. Nice handles, hardware here, soft clothes. Uh, probably eight areas to nine areas of prep. Huge kitchen island. I love the stacking. And then over here you have the stove top. We, we passed this up and they've also made this consistent. So they've taken this quartz countertop and they've taken the quartz all the way to the top. So they've actually put that on the wall as the backsplash to the top to make that pop. That's definitely an option. And then you got the crown at the top, the crown molding. 
So your dining area. And then coming over here, they have the, the, the French style double stacking open from the center door. So I don't think they'll let us out because there's a pool, but that's why we can't get out there. Here, LED fireplace, huge upgrade. Um, I'm gonna say if it's gas, it's probably 15 to $20,000 for that. Here's a nice little place here if you wanna just put some more linens, whatever you wanna do here. And then we're gonna go, this is the primary uh, room or the owner's room. Again, I'm gonna probably have a, a sliding door or a stacking door or French doors opening up to the outdoors. They have a golf uh, course, uh, not a course, but a, like a putting course out here and pool. It's not, the builder's not gonna give you that, but you can always ask to have it subcontracted. Now, one thing about what I don't like about houses is like when they're slanted like this and it has the illusion, it's almost like that cabin illusion, right? Like you don't know where the ceiling's at. I would prefer higher ceilings. It's not bad, it's just not my preference. So we're gonna go into the, that room here too, by the way, this is probably 25 by 25, not as big as the other owners or primary rooms that we've seen. Here is the ultra shower. And again, huge upgrade for this. I could say probably $15,000, $20,000 if you wanted to do this. This is not gonna, the house isn't gonna come like this, but you can get it. The tile, the shower enclosure tile, the way that they've orchestrated this glass and constructed this glass where it's at the top of the roof all the way down. It's a huge shower. So, I mean, it just, you know, one of the things, there's certain things I think for most people, I think one of the things that you wanna say is if you can get this, man, it just seems so much more luxury and more pop, right? Um, granite countertop, the dark tile, this is the different style tile. You got your 12 by 24 tile. And again, consistent black on black hardware. You have your private toilet, four and a half inch baseboards, and then a different style for your, um, you know, if you wanted to put in some cabinets, I mean not cabinets, some shelving. Different style shelving here in the uh, owner suite. And then uh, you also have your attic. So casings, probably two and a half inch. Very nice. And that's it. Um, this is a one story home. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. There's no other additional layer to this house. There's no balconies, but that's fine. Like I said, there's different things to this house that make it pop. <clears throat> so if you guys want a one story home in Summerlin, which is very desirable. I'm your go-to realtor here in Las Vegas. Check me out, LV Crib Tours. Like the channel, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this house and other videos we've put out. I'll see you guys at the next one.